So once you're done with the footings, you can load the next things to do on the job site. For example, we go to the layers option here. I can turn off uh, footings and I can turn on my storm drain. So I can turn storm drain on only by itself if I want. And now I can see exactly where my uh, storm drain line is going to come through over here from where my truck is over to the drain box right here. But I don't have a surface for the actual storm drain. These are lines that I would just have to actually individually stake right there. But if I wanted to have a reference to the roadway also, without turning the surface on for the roadway, I could just turn the lines on. And now if I zoom out, I have a reference of where curb and gutter is, waterway over here, and where my storm drain is in conjunction with that, the edge of pavement and back of curb. Or I can just turn that back off roadway off and just have the storm drain so here i would still have to actually individually stake that line though so i can touch and hold on it and i can start stake the storm drain line and that's going to give me to my actual flow line then if i wanted to i could turn on the light bar there to keep myself right in line with it so there again i can either zoom in on it or i can actually use the light bar to tell me where to go left and right this way so this line actually represents flow line and that three cut of 3.2 is the flow line. If I need to put a vertical offset in for an over X or a bedding sand, I can go into my shovel with the gear right here and do a vertical offset. So right there I could put a 0 0.50 and I'll put it below that. So I'm not giving a horizontal offset, but I'm giving it a vertical offset. So now I can go ahead and start digging in my storm drain right here. I'll just start where the box is going to go. Thanks for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on SiteWorks Machine Guidance. How to use a VCL file to load different file types and different line types. This one being storm drain and going ahead and digging it and setting up the settings right inside the cab.